video I'm going to be talking about all my recent empties and if I'd buy them or if I just throw them away. So the first product I do want to talk to you guys about is the Innisfree sunscreen. That's literally my go-to. I use it every day. It does have a slight fragrance but it fades over time. This sunscreen is so good honestly like it doesn't peel under your makeup. It doesn't leave a white cast. I can honestly use this as a moisturizer alone. So would I buy this again? Yes. I've recommended it to all my family. I think I've bought this over 20 times. So the next product I'm going to be talking about is the Nambuzin Toner. I'm obsessed. If you have really dry or sensitive skin, I do really recommend this product. Only because it has a bunch of fermented ingredients that are great for anti-aging, wrinkles, fine lines, and I do believe this product is a dupe for the SK2, so save yourself some money and get this amazing product. If you really want to glow, this is definitely the key to that. This product goes for around $17 to $18. Next in line is the Innisfree Jelly Cream with Jeju Cherry Blossom. I would say this cream is more on the heavier side. It feels like you're applying primer onto your skin. It also has a really strong scent. So if you're not into that, don't get it. I personally don't think I'm going to be repurchasing this only because I don't like the way it feels on my skin. The texture is too heavy. Other than that, I do think this is a good cream. Just not for me. Next product I'm going to be showing you guys is the Dalva First Spray Serum. I have the Skin Calming one and the original one. I've bought these products like 15 times. I use it every day, anytime. It's just so good. These are just really good hydrating mists. I love to wear on my non-makeup days and on my makeup days. I use it as skin primer and as a setting spray. The OG Serum has two layers, which is oil and essence. I do tend to reach for the Skin Calming Serum more at night, just because I get a bit of redness around my cheeks, and I feel like it helps with that. These two bottles go for around $26 each. That means they are a bit on the pricier side, and they're also lightly fragranced. The scent doesn't linger too long. I personally don't mind it. So the question we've been waiting for, will I be repurchasing these? The answer is absolutely. My next two products are the Solwasu Gentle Cleansing Oil and the Gentle Cleansing Foam. I've used these products for over a year now and I absolutely love them. So if you're in your late 20s, I do recommend these. If you're younger, get something cheaper. For real. Don't make your mom buy you this. These two bottles range from $38 and $40. They are fragrance. They smell like ginseng. They smell really good. Will I be repurchasing? Yes. The product I'm going to be talking about is the Shiseido Bio performance cream. Did I finish this? Yes, I did because I spent $80 on it. Will I be buying it again? No, because I feel like there's other creams that are cheaper and do a much better job. This didn't feel as hydrating as it said it would be. Next product, don't get me wrong, I don't hate Shiseido. I love Shiseido. But that cream was just not for me. Next product is the Shiseido Softener. This is amazing. I use this every day. It makes my skin feel so soft. It is $50 though. This product is definitely a repurchase. I use it every day after cleansing. I feel like it preps my skin for the routine that follows. Um, I do recommend this for any skin type just because it absorbs really quickly. All right guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.